see that he's probably enjoying the game, but more so he's getting a bit of the ball. And look, it's only his fourth game, and he's played probably the first three games he's played down back, and you know, he was able to play up forward, so he's able to attack the, the football a little bit more. But you know, some really good signs there, particularly his, his athleticism, and you know, even his competing was great. He's starting to get a little bit more of the ball, and you know, it's going to take a little while for him to actually understand the game. And you know, I think if you even get a, a guy out of Victoria that's starting to play AFL football, you're not going to dominate straight away. So it takes a while to learn how players around you play, the understanding of ball movement. So you know, there's a lot of positive that you know, four games into his you know, his football career or the you know, AFL footy career, he's starting to get a bit more of it and you know, able to read the ball a little bit better. If you have a look at you know what he did, I mean his ground ball and his first give, um, as soon as he got the ball in his hands was you know pretty good. So as, as soon as he probably knows what he does well and what he doesn't do so well, and you know he keeps to the things that you know, come uh, naturally to him, and you know he just keeps to the basics. Um, you know he's going to improve from there, but it's really important that you know he does the basics well, and you know that'll hold him in good stead. Well, I think there's always going to be room for improvement if you've only played four games of footy. So you know. Um, you, know, you, you have a look at someone like Jim Steins who came over from Ireland. You know, he actually went and ended up playing um, in those days in the, in the VFA, I think it was the VFL or the VFA, so, which was almost like a secondary competition. So he was a guy that ended up winning the Brownlow medal. So, you know, there's going to be, there's going to always going to be that little bit of negative press, but, you know, he's going to have to cope with that. And, you know, but I'm sure, you know, he's on the right path. You call them the unlucky ones.